Welcome to Cooking with Pak. Vandaag, today, we're gonna make a nice soup. Soup, my friend, because you know the weather is getting cold, and you know, soup is something that is also very good for your body. You know, if you eat soup, then you kind of feel like, well, don't let me talk too much. Let's make soup. Um, we're gonna put some hot water in the pan, the pan. We're gonna use a nice big pan for this uh, soup. And, uh, oh boy, wait a minute. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Na, 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 na. I'm out of these soups. Oh boy. I'm out of everything in this house. I don't understand why this woman never buy food in this house. Okay, as you see, I put some water on the flame. I have some water, I have a pan with water on the And we're gonna let this cook and get nice and hot. And when it's cooking, you know, we're gonna put the chicken inside. For this, uh, for this malte, for this meal, we're gonna use chicken filet. Okay? Uh, we also need two big garlics because this is a quality soup that will, you know, give us kind of power. We need the power. We also need some peppers. We have also peppers nodig. So we have garlic gezet, dus hoe heet het? Knoflook. And we also gonna use some pepper. Make sure you remove the the seeds, because we're gonna plant those again. Don't wanna use the seeds. So the pepper you can already throw inside, so it will start giving aroma to the to the soup. Okay, uh, the garlics I'm gonna cut. Oh yeah, also we're gonna use vegetables. I thought I had one bag already open. Yeah. This one. So we're gonna put that inside. We're gonna use two of them. So this water will start becoming some some magic water. You understand? That water that what knows at this moment say what the zeg maar a sort magisch water van aan het maken, oké? Water dat water dat krachtig genoeg zal zijn en wat ons lichaam zal opnemen als voeding. This is garlic. You see, I'm just throwing the big pieces of garlic inside. I took, I took out the, the inside. I gooi gewoon die grote stukken knoflook erin. Die kunnen dan op een natuurlijke manier, zeg maar, uh, zichzelf gaan presenteren in de soep. And you can already smell it. Ik heb uh, geen reuksensoren hier voor jullie. Anders kon je niet ruiken. Maar het ruikt echt lekker. Ja, ik moet de reuksensoren nog aanschaffen. By pressing the the garlic, you can easily remove the shield. You see that? You can just throw it in. So, in fact, this is already very, very powerful. The soup here. Also take a knife and cut the garlic. But I love them big, yin yang, yin yang style. So the garlic leaves you can burn them in a candle, smells nice. And you have a garlic smell over the house, huh? Smells fantastic. About the chicken, how much chicken will we use? This is 600 grams, so I think one of them is about 200 grams. 
we're going to wash that with hot water. Not too hot that it burns your hand, but hot enough that it removes all the jelly. We're going to with heat water, warm water was it. Not so warm that your hand burns, but well warm enough that all that gladde jelly achtige troep van die kip afhoudt. See that? So that it feels nice and you see, it does not feel jelly. Give it some black pepper. Because that will penetrate the meat immediately, just like with some garlic powder. You see? And just leave it for a second, put it in a plate. Leave it there for a while. Also put some salt, of course. This is also very nice to bake. If you would bake that piece there, just the way how I, you know, how I set it with black pepper and garlic, it would taste fantastic. I'll see the place so gaan bakken. Precies op deze manier hoe ik het heb gekruid. Gewoon wat knoflookpoeder. Ja, wat zout. En wat zwarte peper. Dit is de juiste manier hoe je kip moet kruiden. Ook mensen die die kip uh, zeg maar uh, uh, roosteren zoals uh, slagerijen en zo die kip maken. Weet je meestal ja ik weet niet wat ze allemaal gebruiken. Maar meestal vind ik die kip niet zo lekker als wanneer ik het doe. Uh, most of the times you know when I buy roast chicken at uh, most of the times when I buy roasted chicken at, at, at the slager, how you say slager, at the butcher, then um, I find that the meat is not really, they never put garlic. Only thing they put is paprika powder and yeah, yeah. I also have this one. You know what is this? This is, uh, it's pepper. It's pepper powder. This is not paprika powder, eh? this is pepper powder. You see, they, they will never put a thing like that. They'll say, yeah, but some people don't like garlic. Oh, you mean some people don't like garlic? The people don't know until you on the, until they taste it. If you're gonna tell them, yeah, I put garlic on there. Oh, I don't want garlic, because my mouth is gonna stink. But then again, you know, garlic, somebody who eat garlic smells way better than somebody that didn't wash his mouth. You know, people that don't wash their mouth, they really stink, you know? But people that eat things that, you know, dirty things. So, there you go. Water is uh, already kind of hot. In fact, it should cook. But then again, then this video is gonna get too long. And then I will have to stay way too long here in the kitchen. And I'm not planning to do that. So, uh, I'm just gonna turn it around a bit. We need to put in the soup. Uh, we need to put salt in the soup because we don't have them little packages of soup that most of the times I have here. Now you know normally I have these Chinese packages soup, uh, yeah, these noodle soups, and in the in the in the noodle uh, soup you have these packages, you know these. Uh, uh, yeah, I I don't know what it is, but it it gives the taste to the soup, the bouillon. You know, and most of the times I also use one or two of them in a soup like this. But today I don't have that. So, um, assuming that you also don't have that in the house, you can uh, of course use uh, salt, uh, some uh, some tomato, uh, ketchup is also really welcome. I didn't have uh, too much tomatoes left in the house. I had one left. That's for tomorrow for my breakfast. So I'm not gonna put it in the soup. But uh, yeah, we have garlic in it, we have fresh pepper in it, we have all these vegetables in it, you know, we have this chicken in it, we're also gonna put some potatoes in it, I'm putting some potatoes right now in it, you know, just a handful, not too much, um, yeah. And uh, that's it, in fact, you know, um, give it your own little spices that you think that, you know, fit with, with the concept. Don't go putting things that should not be in there, you know, um, keep it natural. Okay, um, welcome back. What do you see here? You see that the soup is cooking. You see that? That means this water is 100 degrees. 
if we're gonna keep this thing open then of course it's gonna get cold again it will not cook anymore but now you see it's cooking you see the pan is also very full we're gonna close it now and we're gonna put the flame all the way down Oké, okay, we gaan de vlam helemaal laag zetten, want hij kookt al en we gaan hem zo laten. Zo voor de komende tijd. Nog een klein geheimpje ga ik je laten zien. Het is gewoon een klein geheimpje. Dit wat je hier ziet, ja, is coconut vet. We gaan ook een beetje in de soep zetten. You see, we put some coconut vet also in the soup. So the soup will get that special coconut flavor. Mmm, yum yum. Te koop bij de action. Oké, okay, welcome back. It's been a while that we left it on a low flame. It's still cooking as you can see. If you put it on a low flame, it keeps cooking. So as you can see, it kookt nog steeds. Als je het op een lage vlam zet, dan blijft die gewoon door koken. Oké, okay, mooi hè? So wat we nou gaan doen, wat we gaan doen nou, is we gaan get some of our spaghetti. That's how the Italians call it. And we're just gonna take a handful, something like that should be enough for us, you know. And when you're gonna break them, as you gaat breken, you must break it to the bottom. You must push it away from you. Otherwise everything will come into your face. And then you just put them inside. And then just stir them a bit. You see? And then you put the flame a little bit higher again, because now we're gonna cook it a little bit until that is done in the meanwhile you can also take a sip of the soup ah, mm, tastes fantastic I'm the only one who's gonna eat this soup so this is all for me for today and tomorrow you know if you find that you need a little bit more salt just put a little bit more salt in it this thing has everything coconut oil it has chicken, it has vegetables, it has uh, sp spaghetti, it has potatoes. This is one fantastic winter soup. This soup, you know, will make you really... Mm. Yeah. Well, in fact, that's it. Uh, ik ga deze video niet langer maken. I'm not gonna make this video any longer. Uh, als straks die bami, if the spaghetti is nice and soft, you know, als het lekker zacht is en, en weet je, laat me gewoon daar voor 10 minuutjes. Zodra het uh, weer een beetje begint te koken, je ziet, het moment is starts cooking a little bit again. Then we just gonna put the flame low again and leave it there for 10 minutes or so, and then you know it will be just fine. So thanks again for watching Cooking with Puck. Uh, this was the winter soup, uh, the storm soup outside. It's storming, it's raining, it's winter, it's cold in the Netherlands. So this is a cold weather balmy soup. Very spicy and I hope you like it. If you think this video was cool, please like, subscribe and love to see you in my next video again. Well, that's all for now folks. Thank you for watching and have yourself a nice meal. Till my next Cooking with Buck. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.